today's tutorial we're going to learn how to do the single rib stitch and you can see that the ribs are going in a vertical line. The wonderful thing about this pattern is if you flip it, it's the same on both sides. So no matter what you're doing, you're going to end up with a double sided pattern. And because it's on both sides, you look, you're increasing the thickness of your material. So it's a bit of a yarn pig because it actually overlaps each other in order to create this kind of effect, but gives it a nice elastic feel to this. You will see this kind of concept used on the cuff of mittens or whether it's the brim of a hat, just like so. This is the single rib stitch, so let's get started. Let's start off with the slip knot. Hey there everybody, it's Mikey from Mikey's Mail. On behalf of my friends at All Free Crochet and I, we'd like to introduce you to the single rib stitch. For more free patterns or ideas, check out allfreecrochet.com. So we want to keep this pattern. You can see that there's a, a blank a rib, blank rib, blank rib. So in actual fact, it's a two step process. So we're not going to count the first one that we've just put on there. So this count, this is one. So one, two. So keep everything in sets of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you just want to keep going the distance that you want to go to meet your project. So whatever you want to do, just keep it in sets of two. And at the very end, we just want to add two. So one and two. So just keep going to the distance that you want and then carry on to the next part of this project. So now we're ready to go back across the chain. But in order to establish the pattern, we need to put some double crochet all the way across the chain in order for the next row to be able to grab onto something. So looking back at the chain, we're gonna go third from the hook. So one, two, and three. So double crocheting ourselves into the third stitch from the hook. Going in, pulling a third two, and two, let's review double crochet. So grabbing the material, going into the very next stitch available, so we're just going to keep doing this across, grabbing it, pulling it through, then two and two. So one more time, so grabbing it, going into the next stitch, going through, going through two and two. So do that all the way to the end of the line and we'll meet back up there, we'll return it and begin to do our rib stitching. We've now double crocheted ourselves all the way to the line. So now let's turn the material and put this back into your hand. Now let's understand some terminology and let me zoom in with the camera. In between each one of the stitches is what is called a post. So if you pull it apart and you'll see two strings on the very top of your stitch, then you'll see one string just right there and then the gap. So if you pull it out in between, those are called the posts which link this line to the top. So we need to concentrate on that when we actually are going to go to the next process. So when we come from the front of the post, it's called FP or front post. And when we come from the back of it, then it's back post or BP. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna chain up two. So we are going to be double crocheting, but we have to chain up two because we are grabbing from the post and not from the top of the thing. We actually cannot chain up three at this point because what's going to happen is that the side of the material will grow up uh, quicker than it would in the middle, therefore causing it to be distorted. So let's chain up two. So one and two. And just, uh, just for the sake of argument, I'm just going to grab it from the front. It doesn't matter. It's a two step process. So whether you grab it from the back, the first or the front, it doesn't matter. So grabbing the material and we just want to separate those out and just go into the post on the one side and then just pop your hook and come out the other side of the post and just grab the material, pulling it through, pulling through two and two. So you can already see the rib is now already started. Can you see how fast that was? So now the next one, you can see that there's a gap, but the gap is actually the rib on the other side of this project. In order to get that, we just double crochet. So grabbing the material, now coming from behind, okay, coming out through the project, flipping. So now you have the back post, grabbing the material, pulling it through, and now you can just double crochet as normal. So now that has just been grabbed. And you can see that the material on the top part of the section is now looking towards you. And that looks kind of odd, but it actually gets buried in the more that we go along. So don't worry about it. So the next one, we come to the front. So grabbing the material, going to the very next post, going in, flip forward, grabbing the material, pulling it, two and two, okay? So the next one, we're gonna grab it from the back. So coming in from behind, flipping through, 
and through. Now I'm making this look pretty easy but in actual fact when you start working with front and back posts it's actually a little more complex um, just because you're so used to doing it in a certain way. So the next one is from the front. So it takes a little bit of getting used to to being able to flip your material and using your hook to kind of find the posts. But as you can see what I'm doing here I'm not really having any difficulty because you know just even doing the sampling in behind has gotten me trained in order to grab the post. So basically every other one we're just going to grab it by the front and then the and then the every other ones we're just going to grab it by the back. Okay, so you're just going to work your way across this line and we'll meet back up at the end, but we're not uh, make sure that you do not um, well we'll t we'll cover it when we get to the end and just keep on going. So we're now coming to the end and we now have one, two, and actually the chain. So we actually have three posts to work with. So the next one is from the behind, so it's the back. Okay, the next one is from the front. And now we have one more post, which is the actual original chain before we uh, started going across. And so what we want to do now is just half double crochet into the actual chain. So grabbing the material and just going into the actual chain. Do not go into this gap. If you go into the gap, it, your project is going to look weird and it's going to pull your par project apart. So go right into the chain, just as if it was a bottom chain, pulling it through and then pull through all three. And you need to half double crochet at the end because if you double crochet, because you grabbed it up here and not down here, your work will grow in an uneven manner. So now you can see that your ribs are starting, so it's now just up to you to maintain it. So let's now flip your project and begin the other side. So now let's flip it just like so. And now what we want to do is look for where we were in the last round. You can see that this rib here is jumping towards you, but the one that we're going to go into next is in behind. So we want to maintain whatever's in behind stays in behind, whatever's in front stays in the front. So let's chain up two to begin. So one and two. So we look at the next one and you can see that it's in behind because it's not popping out at you. So we want to make sure that if it's in behind, we're going to grab it from behind. for the double crochet of the back posts. So the next one now is in front of you. So you're just gonna come in and grab the post from the front side. The next one is obviously in behind. So you just wanna grab it from the back side. So you just wanna keep doing this all the way across so whatever's in front stays in front and whatever's in the back stays in the back. When you get changing all of those around, then you begin into more complex things like ripple stitches, zigzag stitches, and all of that. Now you can actually start seeing that, did you see before in the last, this uh, piece right in the middle was kind of sticking out at you, but you can see just by grabbing it from behind, it pulled it backward, therefore it is leaving the ribs uh, exposed beautifully. So you just want to keep going, and at the end, we'll meet back up and we'll keep you going on your next round and we are just about done this tutorial because this pattern is that simple to be able to follow. We're now working our way to the end. Again, what's in front stays in front and what's in behind stays in behind. So we never ever do ribbing on the very last post. So we've got two more left, you can see, and that one is in behind. And now we're back to the very edge piece again and now we're just going to half double crochet, so grabbing the material, going into the chain itself, not to the gap, going right into the chain, and then pulling through all. So you can see now the ribbing is actually really starting to take effect, so now let's turn this bad boy around again and go around. So here we go. So you got a rib, a gap, rib, gap, so let's chain up our two. So one, two, so our very first rib is sticking out at you, it's coming in toward, toward you, if you can see that. So you want to maintain that, so coming from the front side because it's sticking out at you, coming from the front. The next one obviously is the gap in behind, so let's grab the material and grab the post from the back. Okay. And then coming back to the front for the next. So basically you've just now learned how to rib stitch. It's a very simple concept, um, really easy. Some people have really done amazing ideas and patterns with the rib stitching. Um, it's great for elasticity on different projects and uh, overall it's a very simple concept. You don't really have to count stitches and uh, really truly a wonderful idea. And this is brought to you by All Free Crochet and Mikey's Mail. Have a great day.